Hello everybody, this is Javier coming at you with a quick tutorial in regards to the Smart Meeting Calendar platform. This is a very powerful tool that can be used to dramatically increase your productivity and of course in the process dramatically increase your income as well. Now, this is especially important with all that's going on with COVID-19. This tool was put together to help you stay organized, but also to prompt you to generate the activity that can lead to the success that you deserve. It all starts with you, of course, requesting your free account. Now this has a value literally of $99 a year to start, but with the upgraded account that you're getting that gives you unlimited calendars, it goes up to almost $200 a year that you're going to receive free for life. And so having said that, it all starts with you requesting your actual free calendar. If the link says it's expired, then you're too late. Now, you are going to receive an email similar to this one. And it's just simply telling you that you've been assigned credentials, which means a login name or your username and a password. You're also going to receive the link to the actual website where you're going to log in, which is where I am right now. And so make sure that you bookmark or put it as a favorites in your browser so you can find it later on and use it a lot. Now, while you can use this to literally schedule anything, we're going to start as a team, as a group, by booking as many annual reviews as possible via Zoom with existing clients. And so the first thing you're going to do is put in your username and password and then simply sign in. Now, once you sign in, you're going to see that it says no meetings found or it might say no calendars found because well it's a brand new account so you're going to start by creating a calendar and you do that by clicking on the upper right hand corner on the plus sign where it says create calendar you're going to name the calendar and this is an example i'm going to go ahead and just simply call it client well it's right here annual review very important we're going to hit continue and this is going to create the calendar and it's going to bring us to the calendar dashboard which is what you see on the screen right now now, upper left-hand corner, you see the name, which has already been inputted there, or you can change it. If you need to change it at a later time, you can do that as well. But it's very, very important for you to go to the right and make sure that the time zone has your proper time zone, which for me, it's Pacific. Now, I'm also gonna show you how to make sure it pops up every time you create a calendar in a little while. The status shows open. If it's closed, then nobody can book any more appointments. So obviously here, we're gonna leave it open. Then. Meeting time, well, meeting type, it could be a via Skype, in person, or Zoom, but Zoom will not work until you integrate it by clicking on the integration green button right there. When you click on it, it's gonna bring you here and it's gonna give you the API button to be connected by clicking connect. I already connected this one, that's why it shows up, but once you connect to your Zoom account, it will show as it being connected. And then you're gonna go back to the calendars and that's what that means. So once you save it initially, the client, uh, the calendar shows up here, client, uh, client annual review. I'm going to drop down menu, hit edit. It's going to bring me back to where we were. So again, open type of meeting is going to be via Zoom because all the annual reviews we're going to work on are going to be via Zoom. Right hand side, it's just a simple message. This is an annual review of your policy from the comfort and safety of your home simple all right so then we continue now we're going to go ahead and make this a free event because technically you could charge people which i don't think too many clients will pay you so just leave it at free then we're going to go down here to where it says the calendar meeting settings now the date from is when you're going to start to make appointments available so for me i'm going to start monday the 20th of july and then I'm gonna continue uh, throughout the summer. So I'm gonna go, let's just call it September 21st. That's the range that's going to cover this calendar. Now you can go further than that, of course, if you're gonna just always have it open and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, the frequency, how long it's going to last. I'm just gonna put in here 30 minutes, click away, and then I'm gonna to go to buffer. Buffer simply means that how much time between appointments are you going to need? Uh, now, if you're doing these live uh, annual reviews or appointments and you're going to need enough time to drive from one place potentially drive from one place to the other but because i'm doing this all via zoom i only need 30 minutes in case i go over a little bit i could just go ahead and get ready for another appointment 30 minutes later 
How many meetings per day do you want to handle? Again, this really applies if you're meeting people in person because you might only be able to see three people. You might have to drive from LA to the Inland Empire or to San Diego or to the Valley. I don't know. So knowing who you're going to be dealing with, you know that better than me. I just leave it at zero, meaning unlimited number of meetings. As many as people want to book, I'll leave them alone. Now here, what days are you closed? So if I click on Sunday, no appointments will be offered on Sundays or Mondays or whatever the date might be. I'm gonna leave everything open because I wanna see them, especially since they're Zoom based, you can handle quite a bit throughout the week. And here's the cool part, <clears throat> reminders. The system will actually remind you and your guest of your upcoming meeting, either days and or hours before the event. So I'm gonna tell it to remind everybody, myself and the uh, uh, prospect or the uh, guest, one day before our appointment, but also one hour before our appointment. And not only that, but once you actually go ahead and, or, or they go ahead and schedule the initial appointment, they're gonna go ahead and get a text immediately, letting them know that they have successfully registered and they actually receive a link stating that they can go ahead and reschedule if need be or cancel from the link provided. Really, really uh, good program. And then this is also extremely important, and that is interval. You want to make sure you add an interval, meaning what range of hours are you willing to see people? So for me, I'm going to start at 8 a.m. And the latest I want to see them is 8 p.m. You see how I changed that by clicking on the p.m. And if you notice, every time I make a change on the lower right hand side, a green banner pops up that says data was saved. So that means it was the change was saved. So I'm back to p.m. I'm going to go ahead and save the event and I'm good to go. Now we're going to go through the advanced features. Now here I'm going to click on the second tab, advanced calendar. There you go. And what it's going to ask you here is if you have any custom intervals. So what that means is that for the next month and a half, I told them that I'll see people from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. But maybe on one particular day, I'm not available. So or maybe I just have a few hours that day. So let's just say on the 22nd of July, I know I have another commitment in the morning, so I can't see people till after one so i'm gonna click on the date that i want to do this for i'm gonna add an interval and that day i need to start at 2 p.m until in this example i'm gonna put 8 p.m that's it and if you look if, if you look at the lower right hand side here data was saved it was already saved now if you have any other date range or hour ranges you need to fix on any type of other um, day you would just simply click on add interval and add as many as you need invitees very important once somebody books an appointment with you it's going to notify you via email but once you log into your calendar you can click on invitees and all your invitees will be right here meaning all your upcoming appointments will be listed here with all of the information that they provided as well this is almost like a crm program as well so you click on follow up and what this allows you to do is to send out an email to all of the people you have on your actual database, if you would, that have booked appointments with you. Click on this one for emails and you just go ahead and type in the subject of your appointments and say, hey, thank you for your visit. Or you might want to let them know that you want your booking for next month or, or whatever the case might be. Subject, just like any other email. And then you start typing over here. But what's really cool is that you don't have to just send out generic emails, you can personalize them. So let's just say you have a database of 100 people that have booked appointments with you. Whether they kept it or not, they all stay in the system. So I'm gonna type an email down here that's just simply gonna say, uh, let's just say, I, I wanted to say good morning, and then I just simply copy and paste this tag, which says the lead's name. So you have to cover, uh, copy everything in red. And once you do that, all you simply do at that point is you just simply go ahead and type kind of what I'm doing right now. Uh, hello, and then I'm gonna paste it. I copied the wrong code from another thing I was trying to do. But you just simply go ahead and either type in, if you know how to type these things in, or you can go ahead and just simply uh, paste it there. And what it'll do, it'll automatically, without you having to do anything, it'll just simply put their actual first, there you go, just like I did right now. So hello, and then the tag, which is their first name. And then from there, it just simply will continue with the rest of your message. You can also do SMS follow-ups, which are on the 
uh, oh, let me just save my, well, I'm not going to show it to you. You can kind of play with it on your own. But the update can be via text, which is my favorite one, because emails are dying, unfortunately. And where it's at is with the text messages. I'm sorry, yeah, with the text messages, which is what this allows you to do as well. So that's this is the follow-up element. I'm going to delete it. I don't want to save it. But that's what that simply means. And then under optional, you can create groups so that you know you're talking to clients from IULs or maybe 403Bs or maybe police departments or maybe these are teachers. You can group them together. So you can do that as well. And then slug simply means the web address. This is how your uh, website or link address will look like. So you can see client-annual-review, which is fine if that's what you want. Or I'll show you how you can change it. So anyways, we're done. That's all there is to it. So now you want to go ahead and get the link to send it to your prospects or your clients or whoever. Right now we're talking annual reviews. And so what you're going to do is click on view. And when you click on view, you're going to see this. Now, this right here shows no dates available on the 18th because I told you I wasn't going to start until Monday. And there they are. As you can see, these are all the appointments. Now, on the 22nd, there's no morning slots available because I told that I was not going to be available on that day or whatever but all the other ones are right there and so all the anyways it tells you it's going to be free 30 minutes and via zoom so all and I do mean all you need to do is go up to your address bar copy that actual long link and this is what the slug refers to this one says client dash annual dash review that's the part that you can edit so if that's too long you can use the three letters of of client which is c annual a and r car so it would make the whole thing shorter and you can also go ahead and email people that now i recommend you text it to them i don't like to email a whole lot because i just gave you a couple of real one reason that it's dying but if you text it to them and you just simply say hey hello this is javier please click on the link below so that we can schedule your annual review via Zoom. They'll know what it is because they are your clients or call them ahead, letting them know that you're gonna be emailing the link and so on. But if you do wanna email it, I encourage you to hyperlink it. And the way you do that in the form of an email is what I'm doing right now. And so what I'm doing here is I'm gonna go ahead and send out an email. And the email that I'm gonna send out is gonna be to whoever. And here it's gonna just simply link to schedule your annual review. Very simple. Now there are several ways that I can do this. One of them will be, hello, please click on the link to, please click on the link to your annual review. And then I'm gonna just paste the whole thing, but I think it looks crappy. It looks really, really bad. So what I'm going to do I'm going to get rid of this because it looks horrible. And when you embed a link or hyperlink, all you're going to do is change the following. You said, please, and I'm going to change this to capital letters. Click here to schedule your annual review. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply say, thank you, Javier. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to simply highlight, click here. I'm going to go down and click on the bold or the B, which is going to make it bold right there. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the little chain link that you see down here, the chain link that I'm hovering over. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go ahead and paste the long link right there and hit OK. And now it looks much better. Now it says, please click here. And it embedded the actual link into the text, making it look a hell of a lot nicer right there. And so again, make sure that once again, when you're here, you click on view, view will take you here, copy the actual link that you see here. And that's what you want to text people. I would encourage you to text it before you email it or do both, but make sure you always text them the entire link. And so as you can see here, we're good to go. I'm going to go back to my calendars and now I have my client annual review calendar. I can go ahead and click and create another calendar. And you would just simply name it whatever it is that you want to name it and on and on and on so the focus will be to book as many annual reviews as possible 100 percent via zoom 
And those that do that, I have a special bonus for you that I'm not gonna get into right now until I actually go ahead and get the whole thing going. So that's it for right now. I wanna say thank you for your time. And again, if you did not get your free account, you're just simply out of luck. We're not issuing anymore until maybe a few months from now. So uh, congratulations to all those that actually got it. And I challenge you to take it, leverage it, and utilize it to dramatically increase your overall success. Thank you.